What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about sublimation. What color shirts can you do sublimation on? It's a question that was asked in one of my videos is can you do sublimation on dark shirts? For example, black shirts. Well, the answer to that is going to be given right after the break. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, so if this is your first time here, you know what to do. I've reached that 1,000 subscriber status, which is awesome. I thank you guys. Now I can start to grow from here, but I still need to watch views. So keep watching these videos, watch as many as you can, watch them again. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new, like, subscribe, do what you gotta do because if you're trying to grow your apparel business, this channel is gonna help you do that. So without further ado, here it is. Can you sublimate on dark shirts? Let's talk about it. So I'm in a lot of these Facebook groups. You know, I see people constantly ask this question. And the reason why, because they might see shirts like this that are just kind of all custom colors, full color, and they're like, oh, can I sublimate? on black shirts the plain straight up answer is no heck no you cannot sublimate on black shirts why not well let's just really quickly kind of reason with the reason why sublimation doesn't work on dark shirts case in point say for example I took some colors here different markers took the top off if I went like this with a black marker on the shirt, are you gonna see that? No, you're not. Black ink, it, it, it won't show on a black shirt. Same thing with this marker. If I put this marker on a black shirt, what's the likelihood that you're gonna see that ink really popping through in this bright lime green color? Likewise, orange, same, it's same concept. Whatever it is, red, yellow, whatever, Definitely not white, because I mean, when it comes to sublimation, it, you know, white just isn't produced. It's a CMYK setup. You know, most printers that people are using that I've talked about before are like the Epson Eco Tanks, or they're using the Sawgrass style printers, or other Epson models. So most of these are CMYK based. There is no white ink. Basically, when it comes to white, whatever is white on your design is gonna be the color of whatever shirt you're putting that on. So the concept usually when it comes to sublimation is you're gonna to wanna to use white shirts, which are the most popular, or you use lighter color garments like your you know, heather grays, your light grays, your light pinks, anything that's a light color, you know, light reds, light blues, uh, you know, in some cases like a royal blue. Uh, dark navy shirts, most likely not. You're not really gonna see a lot of vibrant colors popping through or something like that. You know, and, and the concept is the darker you get with your colors, even like the darker grays, the more darker your print will show through. So just understand that concept again. If you took this color and rubbed it on a dark gray, for example, how does that color appear on that dark gray? So in this case, I actually sublimated black on this shirt okay this was just a test run test shirt so this is like a medium heather gray and you see how that came out it came out really nice now black would show through really nice on a color like this am i going to expect that maybe reds or uh, some blues and whatnot are really going to be popping in a bright red and a bright blue no because of the gray in the background that gray is going to kind of wash out that color just a little bit because of the dark fabric, okay? If you really want colors that are gonna be more vibrant and that are gonna super pop when you sublimate them, then the likelihood is that you're gonna wanna go with white shirts, you know? Here's another example, you know, the white you know, with the black. And then of course, here was a actual color design. You know, this was a design that I created. It's actually on Etsy. 
here's an autism shirt. But you see here, you've got full color, all the colors pop, CMYK, get a little closer so you can see that. But you can see how all the detail, all the colors, black, white, this white here that you're seeing in the hands and the arms, the teeth, that's the actual shirt itself because CMYK, again, does not produce um, white. And then when it comes to black, it'll produce a, uh, it'll create its own black, so to speak. But you get full color all the way through on the white. Now, if you had a very light, 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 light gray shirt, you might get some of this full color as well. But again, keep in mind that light gray color is gonna wash out some of this ink. So then the question stands, how do I get full color on dark shirts? In those cases, most likely it's DTG, okay? Direct to garment printing, uh, or you can do what I've definitely recommended before you can go full color transfers so say for example again full color transfers from stalls transfer express so this is one way to be able to take this transfer cut it out and put it on a shirt you can go that route you know but if you're trying to take for example a black shirt like this you know don't expect that cmyk is going to do white on a dark shirt you know, and again, it's that concept of, you know, these colors are just not gonna be able to be shown on black. It just does not make sense. So what you'd have to do is in this case, we've got, you know, vinyl here, you know, the Essential Industries vinyl logo here, but you would either take a black shirt, you would, you know, either do DTG yourself if you've got the equipment to do it, or you would sub it out, you would screen print full color, uh, or you would just, you know, like I've shown, Go to Transfer Express, which you can find that link you know, in the description. You can go to their website. You can choose the design center. You can create your own custom artwork, or you can upload your own custom artwork. As long as it doesn't infringe on any trademarks or you have the rights to that design, you can submit the, the, the license and whatnot, and they'll, they'll print it up for you. But you can go that route. So you can take... A gang sheet like this, I believe this is an 11 and a half by 18 or something like that. In this case, I didn't really have a lot of full color designs because I was doing a lot of charcoals and blacks and, and whatnot. Here I've got a gradient over here. Then I've got this full color design here. I've got white with charcoal on my shirt tags. So you can put as many color designs as you want when you're doing the ultra color soft transfers. So that's one way that you can leave your sublimation to light colored garments mostly white mostly light colored grays maybe light reds pinks etc but just keep in mind when you start using colored shirts there's no way that you're going to get any type of white whatsoever because whatever is white again in your design most likely will be the color of the shirt that you're using i hope you kind of understand what i'm saying so if you want white as part of your design then you're going to use a white shirt period so Hopefully that helps explain that concept a little bit. Now, again, you know, when you're doing full color sublimation, again, having all white is how you're gonna produce the most vibrant and most realistic looking colors, you know, for your setup. So there you go. That's sublimation in a nutshell on different fabrics. Really quick, just wanted you to understand the concept when it comes to sublimation as well, always keep in mind, sublimation is made for polyester. The higher the polyester count, the better. When it comes to wanting to get some vibrant colors, you want at least 65% polyester count or higher. The higher the poly count, the more vibrant the color is going to be, okay? When there's cotton involved in the mix, you know, within the blend of the shirt, Sublimation ink does not bond to cotton. It bonds to polyester, okay? Whatever's cotton in that design, I mean, it, it, it might bond a little bit, but as soon as you wash that shirt, the ink's gonna wash out, okay? So unless you're using special chemicals um, on cotton shirts that, you know, there are some out there, some polyester sprays that you can use on shirts, but I super, 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 highly, 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 do not recommend you're doing that for your customers.
because you do not want to be spraying your shirts with chemicals, especially when it comes to polyurethane-based chemicals and selling these shirts in case people might have allergic reactions. You don't want to be liable for that. But if that's still your thing and what you're trying to do, then you better make sure you have some type of, you know, stipulation, you know, on your garments that you're using these type of chemicals on your shirts and that your clients are aware of it just so you don't get sued if something were to happen. So I recommend if you want to do it right, find shirts that are polyester based that are designed for sublimation or at least remember the lower the polyester count, the more of a vintage look your shirt is going to have. So the more faded your color is going to be. So as you're going from 100% polyester, which is going to be 100% super vibrant colors down to like say 50%, the more faded that ink is going to be because you're taking the polyester out of the equation and you're lowering it, lowering it. So, you know, you're going to go more for that vintage look. So if you weren't kind of into that vintage look, then you would do either less time when you're pressing. So instead of 60 seconds, you might do like 35 seconds or 30 seconds you know you would see what works time wise or you would just buy a lower poly count shirt like a 65 or maybe a 40 or 50 you know that's maybe blended with some cotton to get a more vintage look like that faded you know distressed vintage look you know that you can really incorporate into your design so have fun with it there's some pointers hopefully this helped if you got any information from this video you know what to do like subscribe and until the next video my name is james and i'm out y'all have a good one